ladies bends do you want mike tell me what color do you want them mike says oh he's so humble he says i don't i don't need a new mercedes benz no i don't really need a new mercedes and the guy says, well, now come on, Mike, what color do you want? Oh, I like black on black. I'll take black on black. And you know what? The guy bought me a new Mercedes Benz. And you know what he said to me? He said, Mike, you're such a blessing. I'm going to buy you a brand new Mercedes Benz every year. <laughs> oh, please help. It's like, somebody, please help us. I'm like, how dumb can you be? How how dumb can people be that they're actually sitting there listening to this abomination, which is an abomination, and people are running to the phones sending these people money? Oh, it's ridiculous. I mean, what does what does Mike Murdoch getting three Corvettes? And a, and a brand new Mercedes Benz have to do with anything. Like, what does that have to do with Jesus? Nothing. It has nothing to do with Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's a con. I mean, it's fraud. I tell you what. Why don't you start asking for a money back guarantee? Ask them if you could have your money back if it doesn't work. I can tell you right now it's not going to work because you can't buy anything from God. You, can, they, you can't buy miracles. You don't have to give God money. He doesn't need any money. He, uh, he does fine. He, he's done fine. He created the universe without any money. So um, why does he need any money? He doesn't. Uh, yeah, I'm back in the chat room now. Yeah, we know. I mean, Mike, they have a whole channel, the Mike Murdoch and the camp meeting. Yes, they know it works. So <laughs> it's like constantly, you know, the funny thing is it's like Daystar Network, and most of them too, TBN, most of them, they just keep repeating telethons that they had five years ago, six years ago. Look at the hairstyles. And... Uh, and it's always like, you know, they had a word from God then. So, like, it's the same word that they had five years ago or six years ago. They just keep repeating it because they know people are just so dumb that they'll fall for anything. And they're so desperate. And they prey on your desperation. Uh, you know, these people are awful. I mean, they are really awful. It, it is such an abomination. I, I, I just... It, it, it's it just it's disgusting. Uh, please, let's have more people out there take a stand. I mean, if Mike Murdoch comes to that town, bring a group of people, go down there, and uh, when he starts that stuff, just stand up and say you lie. You know, be polite. Now, be nice. You know, don't stir up trouble, but just be politely stand up and say you lie. I mean, I would love to see somebody go to one of these telethons and they're broadcasting live over the air and somebody stand up and say, you lie. Yeah, I'd love to see it. <laughs> I'd love to see it. <laughs> Dear Lord, help us. That's all I have to say. I, I, I never thought I would see the day, and I've been born again for 29 years. I never thought I was going to see this day that the Church of Jesus Christ has become so deceived and uh, they're just sending these people money and thinking that if they get money, they're going to, they're going to, if they give money, they're going to get money. Well, that's not supposed to be your reason to give. You're supposed to give because you love other people and you want to help people. So the whole motivation, everything they're doing is, is based on selfishness. It's not based on love and, um, our theme scripture here at uh, Prophetic News is, For God so loved the world that he gave. And we want to be like that. We want to love the world so much that we give. And we don't give because we want something back or we're trying to buy something. There, there's no scripture in the Bible that says, a seed has anything to do with money. It, there's no scripture for that. Absolutely none. Um, I see uh, Felicia also about uh, 
when you did your study on tithing and giving, what did you find is the right thing to do? What I found is the right thing to do is to obey God, and if you see that somebody has a need, if you know that somebody has a need, to meet that need, to be able to hear from the Holy Spirit on your own. You're not bound by any laws or rules or regulations because we're a new creation.